All right, guys, Wonder Weasel back here today, and we are at Ellie's Mill here in Gatlinburg. It is at the bottom end when you come out of the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. Guys, this is a pretty neat little area. It was established in 1925. A really cool little area. It's always really pretty and cool right here. Uh, they do weddings, and they've got a couple cabin rentals and such here. So guys, we're just going to kind of show you this little area. Come check them out if you're in Gatlinburg. Really cute little area here back up in the woods. You've got the old barn and such here at Ellie's and everything. And we will come down here behind. We've got the old millstones here. I'm not really sure about the old mill itself, if it's still anything in existence or not. Uh, you got some things back up in here at Ellie's Mill. Another, I guess, I don't know if that's the mill or the barn. I'm not really sure where the, if the mill is still in existence or not, guys. We're going to explore a little bit. I'm going to try to be careful where I go. An old shed building here. I'm going to say that the mill was right down here behind down here in the bottom not real sure where it was um, I don't know we're gonna look around here man and then we're gonna take you in the they got like a little store type deal uh, craft store type thing it's got shirts and things in we'll take you up there to it just in a minute I'm just gonna show you down in here Toward the bottom of these buildings down here on the stream. I'm not real sure, guys, where the mill actually was. I'm gonna have to find out that for you, but I will find out. All right, guys, let's come back up toward the front side and everything. Like I said, I will have to find out where the actual mill was located for you guys. Guys, right across from Ellie's mill itself is one of their cabin rolls. I think they've got two of them. They're very, very hard to get one of the cabins. They stay booked. <laughs> stay here at Ellie's mill cabin rentals. Ellie'sMill.com uh, eight six five seven one nine four zero seven eight. Uh, they do have public restrooms here when you come out of Roaring Fork. But yes, guys, this is one of the cabins, uh, the Millside cabin. Right there is the rest area, the ba bathrooms when you come out of Roaring Fork and here at Ellie's Mill, public bathrooms. Okay guys, this is actually one of the woodworking shop here next to the restroom area. And they've got some more stuff down the road right here. We'll go down that way and see what that is. And then we will actually go in the little like, general store of Ellie's Mill been in there before it is pretty cool uh guys i think i did maybe find the mill for you hang on just one moment before we go down there i'm gonna go down here real quick and look and then we'll go down the road right here I'll come down another side here of the building next to the creek aha i did find the old mill Oh, right here, guys, if you can see all of this was the old mill. You can tell the mill area stuff is all worn out and gone. It's old. But guys, right there was the old water mill. So, 
yeah that's where the mill was it's pretty well in non-existent now guys as you can tell so it's been very like I said it's very old it's kind of historic here guys in Gatlinburg so definitely check it out uh, we will go in the little general store area here just in a few minutes uh, there is some old millstones still underneath the building it looks and appears I see some lumber and such they might be going to try to maybe bring this thing back I ain't a hundred percent if they can uh, it would take a lot of work there's even the metal is in pretty bad shape for the old turn mill uh, the old wheel is pretty pretty bad shape guys like I said it's pretty well not existent but maybe in the future you know they might come up with something bill to fix it back it would be kind of neat to see it come back kind of in maybe the form of it before it completely dilapidated so guys let's go back up to the road and we will go down there's another little building across the road on the same side where the rest area and the cabin the one cabin and also the little woodworking shop there's a little building down below all that let's go see what it is i've not explored that i have just explored the general store that's it and then we'll bring you back to it and show you all the goodies they have inside Excellent guys, I think I know what this actually down here is. This was actually the blacksmith shop from what I'm looking at. We'll run down here real quick and show you that. Yep, blacksmith shop. It is actually open today, looks like. To Look inside. So yeah. pretty cool. Hey. But yeah, that's the blacksmith shop, guys. All right, guys. We are now outside of the Ellie's Mill little like general store. We've been here before in this part of it. Uh, it's really nice. We've actually got a couple t-shirts from it and I'm hoping to find some more here today. So we're going to head in. You and come in. Plenty more to see inside. It's a really cool little store, guys. When you come in here, you got some antique. Here to the right when you come in the door is the antiques. Um, you got some pottery as well and things. Uh, local craftsmen's made things. Um, you've also got the, they do carry some of the Misty Mountain Soap Company items, the soaps and the sprays and everything. Here, guys. Some more antique uh, cups and dishes and things guys I've been here when, when we came here it was cold weather uh, they also have a Keurig machine so you can get coffee and bottled water and canned drinks but guys we come here when when we came through it was in the early spring when it was cold still and this uh, wood fireplace was actually running felt really nice it actually is workable it works but yes guys right here is the shirts uh, the logo shirts for Ellie's Mill it's got a lot tougher they got a penny masher here 
Uh, some keychains, um, some more soaps and things from a local maker. Not sure which local maker. It's right there. Pretty neat. Got a lot of just the local craftsman stuff they carry for try to help them out, guys. Guys, you've also got some Great Smoky Mountains calendars, uh, the Great Smoky Mountains, uh, the National Park, Cage Cove, and things. They got a few DVDs. They've got some books and things. Uh, they got all kinds of just stuff here. That's pretty neat. We got some spices and things too. Crackers and keychains and different things, different crafts. Uh, we've also got some like yarn type things, some craft things. We've got the spinning wheels and things and they actually do make some things here from it uh, they do some showing of how to do that hiking sticks guys just like a lot of, like I said a lot of local craftsman type things to carry here uh, they do some of the stuff here themselves it's really cool oh well uh, an old bear an old hog Pretty cool. Just a really neat place, guys. Check out Ellie's Mill here. I will show you one other thing. Guys, I had showed you outside the old spinning mill wheel, water wheel. And you can actually see it up here, the shaft area and everything right outside the window here of the little store. Uh, what it looks like now. Pretty cool guys, just a lot of history here. So definitely come and check them out. So guys, I'm gonna leave you with the shot of the old wheel area. Uh, guys, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel. Um, ring the notification bells, keep your notifications rolling. And so you can know when other videos are all coming out. And also, if you're new here, we do upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 8 a.m. they go live three days a week. So you get three videos a week. And as I keep saying, guys, we'll keep shooting. Y'all keep watching. And this is a winter wheel signing off from Ellie's Mill off of the bottom end of Roaring Fork coming back into Gatlinburg. The winter wheel signing off.